We're doing a 7.3 injector install. I want to show you guys the right way to do this. So my injector is all lubricated. I'm always checking for the copper washer that's at the tip of the fuel injector. There's a lot of stuff floating around on social media. I see this a lot on online. A lot of people think that you can just take this injector, tap it in with the back of your hand and pull the injector and the rest of the way with the hold down bolt. And that is 100% wrong. If you do that, the injector may not seat correctly and you can have running issues. Um, the truck may not even start and you'll have definite performance issues if for some miracle you get that thing started, but that uh, the improper installation can severely damage the fuel injector. So I'm gonna show you guys how to not do that. So make sure that your injector is all lubed up. Use uh, motor oil. I've already changed all of the O-rings on mine. I have a new copper washer. Again, this engine is a virgin at this point in time and has not had any injectors in it. So you guys should be able to hear what I'm talking about and I'll show you what I mean. So once your injector hold down bolt is in place, you install that at 120 inch pounds, inch pounds, not foot pounds, that you will break that bolt off in the, uh, in the cylinder head. So 120 inch pounds or 10 foot pounds, and we're all set to go and the rest of the stuff I'll get together. So you're gonna need your injector and a rubber mallet. So when this goes back in, okay, the injector slides in, I keep the collar up, I tap it with my hand and I kind of hold my collar. This is where the important part is with the mallet. You need to tap the mallet until you hear the injector ping at the bottom of the head and it sounds like this. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. But I kind of just tap on the back of that solenoid, which is completely fine to do. Do not use a hammer. You will crack this uh, ceramic piece back here. But that is how I know my injector is fully seated. Sometimes you'll hear a nice ping, but you hear the change in tone as the injector bottoms out in the cylinder.